What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am super excited to show you this new premium spreadsheet featuring the Raphael 6 roulette strategy. The Raphael 6 is the best strategy for even money bets. And I'm going to show you how to play it. So if you walk up to a roulette table, you will see six even money bets in a certain order. Check it out. If we were to go from left to right, the order of the even money bets are low, even, red, black, odd, and high. If we were to go from right to left, the order is high, odd, black, red, even, and low. So how the strategy works is we are betting against the table layout going in this exact order, whether that's left to right or right to left. Let's say I start out on the low side. So my first bet would be on low. If I lose, my next bet would be on even. If I lose, my next bet would be on red, so on and so forth until we get a win. Once we get a win, I like to switch over to the opposite sequence. So let's say I bet on low, I lose, I move over. I bet on even, I lose, I move over. I bet on red and I win. After a win, I am now switching over to this sequence. So my next bet would now be on high. And I'm gonna do the same thing. If I lose my bet on high, I'm gonna move over. Next bet is on odd, so on and so forth once again until we pick up a win. Let's say I pick up a win on odd, I would then switch back to the previous sequence. So with the Raphael 6, we're pretty much picking one of these sequences and placing bets in the exact order of the table layout. And once we pick up a win, we are going to switch over to the opposite sequence. Pretty straightforward. As for money management, you can combine this with any betting strategy that you like. Me personally, I like to use either the star 2.0 or the star 2.2. And this premium spreadsheet includes both. You can switch between the two betting strategies using the tabs below. Okay, let's dive into how to use this premium spreadsheet to keep track when playing the Raphael 6 roulette strategy. Let's look at the switch button. When you click this button, it'll simply alternate between the two sequences. So right now it is on the first sequence, which starts from the low side. Take a look. Low, even, red, black, odd, high. Okay, if you wanna switch over to the opposite sequence, you click right over here, and you can see that it goes in opposite order. High, odd, black, red, even, low. And remember, after a win, we switch sequences. So we're gonna be using this button a lot. This is the reset button. If you click it, it simply resets everything. This yellow box is a key factor because it will tell us where to place our bets. So we are simply going to click on the results that come up and then look at this yellow box to see where our next bet is. This way, we don't have to worry about losing track of anything. Let me show you an example. Say we're starting out on the low side. We would take a look at the yellow box. So our first bet would be $10 on low. Let's say that loses. We would simply tick on the red box here and the red box here. Take a look at the yellow box once again. You can see that it automatically updates. So we now know that our next bet would be $15 on even. Let's say we lose once more. We tick on the red box here and the red box here. Next bet is $25 on red. Okay, this is a very cool feature. Sometimes when you're keeping track manually, it's easy to forget where your last bet placement was and which way you were going, right? So uh, this premium sheet completely eliminates that. You can always look at the yellow box and see where your next bet for how much is gonna be. Okay, let's say we win our next bet. So we would tick on the green box here and the green box here. Now remember, for the Raphael 6, after a win, we switch over to the opposite sequence. So after ticking the green box, go ahead and tick on the switch button and then place your next bet, right? So our next bet would be $50 on high. And if we lose, we would click on loss down here and we would click on loss right over here. The yellow box again automatically updates, so our next bet is $25 on odd. We would keep going down the list until we finally pick up a win. So let's say we win right over here. What do we do after a win, guys? You got it, we switch over to the opposite sequence. So our bet is not $100 on high because we haven't clicked this box yet. Once we click it, it updates. We now know that we have to place $100 on low. 
And a simple tip, if you run out of space here, you can go ahead and click the reset button. Okay, and you can see that you have more room to work with and your bet is still $100 on low. Okay, and let's say we win this bet, win here, win here. I'm using the star 2.0, so I've finally hit back to back. You can see done pop up here. It shows our profit, $25. I can go ahead and lock in those profits by clicking right up here. That'll lock in the $25. Once we've done that, we can hit reset here and that'll restart the star 2.0. I can now start over and choose either the low side or the high side alternating after a win. Nice and simple, very easy to follow. One thing I haven't covered is the green monster. And you can see that this premium sheet does have the option to cover the zero if you want. So for the $10 bet, if we wanna cover ourselves, the spreadsheet will tell you approximately how much to place on the zero to cover your current bet amount. So for $10, Always round up or down because obviously you can't place a 29 cent bet. You would make this a 30 cent bet on the zero and that would cover your $10 bet in case a zero comes up. Okay, so check it out. The spreadsheet automatically updates giving you the correct amount to bet on the zero depending on your current bet. So for $15, if you wanna cover yourself, you would place a 40 cent bet on zero, okay? and you can see the betting amounts adjust depending on how much you are betting, all right? So for $100 here, you can put around $3 down on zero, that would cover you. So this is a very nice option because while you are in a session, you don't have time to calculate how much to put on zero if you wanna cover it. The whole idea of these premium spreadsheets is to make your sessions go smooth and worry-free while you are playing, okay? So I hope you guys like this option. If you wanna pick up this premium spreadsheet for the Raphael 6 roulette strategy, which does include both the Star 2.0 and the 2.2, go to my website, mrraphael.com. I worked really hard on this one and tried to make it as user-friendly as possible. So if you guys want to support the channel, go to my website and pick up these premium sheets. Okay, how about we go online and play a session using the Raphael 6 Roulette Strategy Premium Spreadsheet. Let's go! Before we get started, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, go ahead and smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new and turn on the bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Let's go over to a roulette table and get started. Okay guys, here we are. My unit size is $5. I'm going to start off on the low side. So my first bet is $5 on low. And I could cover the zero, I'll put 10 cents on zero. Twenty-one, so that is a loss. Okay, next bet, five dollars on even. And I'm gonna cover the zero once again. I am using the star two point two. So we do have the option of enabling our safety net if we hit on the gray boxes. 18 is an even number, very nice. All right, so we're gonna switch over after a win, remember. So my next bet is $5 on high. Let's go ahead and cover the zero once again. You saw what I did there. After ticking a green box, we click on switch to alternate between the two sequences, right? 25 is a high number, very nice. All right, take a look. We've hit back to back. So we can go ahead and lock in one unit of profit, hit restart, and we can start over. Which side should we start on after the spin? I'm gonna go with the low side once again. Okay, so after completing my sequence on the star 2.2, I reset everything and start over. All right, guys. A zero came up. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and place my bet $5 on low. $33. That is a loss. Okay. Next, $5 on even. 
you see I'm always looking at the yellow box. Okay, guys? I don't need to look at anything else after recording results. I simply just look right here. The yellow box tells me where my next bet for how much should be. That's why I love using this premium sheet. It's one of my favorites. So looking for an even number here. 27, not an even number. So let's record the losses. $5 on red is next. All right, there we go. A black number came up. So another loss. $10 on black. Okay. And I'm going to put 30 cents on the green zero. Okay, you can see that I am rounding up. You don't have to cover the green zero if you don't want to. It's just a, an option. So three losses in a row looking for a black number here. 26, we do get a black number. Very nice. Let's hit the switch button. Okay, $10 on high. Again, remember that after a win, always hit the switch button so we can alternate between the sequences. $10 on high, we've hit on a gray box enabling a safety net. Okay, we do need the safety net because we end up losing here. The box automatically unticks. $10 on odd here. The premium sheet does all the work for you. I don't need to untick anything extra. You can see that we are still on box number four. All right, and take a look at the yellow box here, $10 on odd. That is where our bet is placed. Six, so another loss. All right, moving down, $10 on black. Twelve, so another loss. Twenty dollars on red this time. Okay, I'll put fifty cents. I know it says fifty-seven cents here, but as long as you're close enough, odds are low that the zero will hit. But just in case it does, you are covered somewhat. Okay, so twenty dollars on red here. Oh, almost hit the zero, but we do get the red. Safety box enabled, let's hit switch. $20 on low. Okay. And I'll go ahead and put 50 cents on the zero. $27, so that is a loss. All right, so we're gonna go $20 on even now. Number six, very nice. All right, let's hit switch once again, $20 on high. There we go. And you can untick some of these boxes. Remember that we're on high. So I can do something like this. All right, never mind. we win on high. And we've hit back to back, locking up another unit of profit minus all of the amounts we've placed on zero. But that is for insurance. Okay, I'm demonstrating it for this video just because we have it on the spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and lock in another unit. All right, we hit reset here, reset here. And I can go ahead and start with the high side this time. All right. So let's go $5 on high. And 
Number seven, that is a loss. Moving down, $5 on odd. Number 11, that is a win, okay. Hit the switch button after a win, so $5 on low now. Gonna move this down. Now, I personally would not cover the zero this many times, just so you guys know. I'm just demonstrating it, like I said, for the video, because we have it on the spreadsheet. But you shouldn't cover it every single spin. The odds are low that the zero will show up. If your bet amounts are high, you can cover it if you choose to. All right, so 27, that is a loss. All right, we get another shot, safety box. So $5 on even now. Twenty two is even. That is a win. Let's switch once again. OK, I can reset to save some space. Five dollars on high this time. Looking for back to back wins to lock up another unit. Also, remember that you can hit reset to save space after you've hit the switch button. OK, so if you haven't hit the switch button, you don't need to hit reset. But if you want to save some space after you've hit the switch button, you can go ahead and hit reset. Number four, that is a loss. Another shot, box number two, $5 on odd. Number seven, very nice, that is a win. Let's hit switch. Next bet is $5 on low. Move this over. Looking for back-to-back -back wins here. Number 12. Very nice. There we go. Another unit. We can lock that up. So three units up so far. We can reset here, reset here. And which side should we start on this time? Let's go with the low side. So after this spin, we will place $5 on low. We are up plus three at the moment. You can see that this premium sheet, very easy to use. It keeps track for me. I know exactly how much to bet, where to bet it. All right, so let's go ahead and put $5 on low. Number 31, that is a loss. Okay, we're doing $5 on even. Number six is an even number, very nice. Let's hit the switch button. $5 on high. Okay. I like to end my sessions when I'm up three to five units so let's see if we can hit a high number here and perfect beautiful number 25 is a high number we hit back to back all right five dollars let's go lock that up and we are at plus four for the session good enough for me so i'm gonna go ahead and exit the table there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a quick demonstration of the Raphael 6 Roulette Strategy Premium Spreadsheet. You can see that it's very straightforward, very simple to use. You don't have to worry about losing track of how much to bet, where to bet. It is all automatic. Just look at the yellow box and it'll tell you how much and where to bet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to pick up this premium spreadsheet, go to my website, MrRaphael.com. You get to support the channel and keep this premium sheet. That is it for this video. Thank you guys once again for tuning in. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, turn on the bell, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Ciao.